Hey friends, it's Mari. I'm back today with another project for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm going to be using the Happy Bee Day stamp. This is a large stamp set full of so many sweet and adorable little images. And I'm going to be creating an A2 size card with my project for my project today. This stamp set also has a companion die set and it is a huge honey cut set. I'm also going to be using the A2 Thin Frames die and I'm going to be using that to create a nice little frame for the perimeter of my A2 size card. I'm going to be using one of the papers from the Over the Rainbow 6x6 paper pad. Love this paper pad and uh, the colors and prints in this paper pad are just gorgeous. So I am ready to get to my card process. So let's go. I am going to start off here with my mini Misty. I'm going to take the two little bear images from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp them onto my Nina 80 pound cardstock in a portrait mode. And so I've put my paper into my Misty and I'm going to stamp out my two little critters here beside each other. Now I'm going to stamp them out with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because I am going to color them with Copic markers. And I'm also going to do some masking today. So I'm going to be using Eclipse masking paper. This is a paper that has a really low tack adhesive on one side. It's like a big post-it tape and it is going to um, help me to create the little scene that I want to create here today. So I'm taking a piece of that masking paper and I'm just going to cut it, trim it out so that it's the right size to cover the little bear on the left and then a piece for the bear on the right. I'm going to stamp those each out individually onto that eclipse paper. So I've got my masking paper down over the little bear on the left. I'm going to ink up the stamp again and swing the door of the misty shut to stamp onto that eclipse paper. I'm going to do the same thing for the little bear on the right and then I'm going to take my cutter bee scissors and I'm going to trim out that little image there really close to the black line of the stamp and that's going to create a mask. So when you're masking a project what you want to do is stamp the images that you want at the forefront of your little scene. So I wanted my two little bears here to be the front or foremost images. And now the little uh, tree stump with the cake on it, I wanted to be behind the bears. So I put my masks on my bears and I stamped the tree stump and I created a mask for that tree stump too. You'll see why here in a little bit as I continue to create my scene. I just wanted to reveal these images here just so that you could see what they look like. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, I'm going to create some dimension on my project too, and I'm going to do that by stamping out some of the other fun little images from the stamp set, and then I'm going to use the honey cut dies to die cut these out and use some dimensional adhesive on these images for my project so that I can create some dimension in that way. Now, I've got my images all stamped out now, and through the beauty of filmology, I have colored these with very, very basic Copic coloring using Copic markers from my stash. And now you can just see that I've taken the dies. I'm going to stick those down with my purple tape and run those through my Sizzix die cutting machine. Now what I want to do is take some more masking paper and I want to mask off the grass area. I'm going to get that all uh, nicely blended with some uh, Twisted Citron and Mowed Lawn Distress Oxide inks. Blending that on just really lightly, very simply. This is not complicated at all in any way. Going to strip off that... Um, that mask that I created there. And now I'm going to create a cloud scene section of my scene here using the cloud stencil from the Outdoor Scene Builder stencil set. I'm using tumbled glass Distress Oxide ink and you'll just see me do some really basic blending here to create the impression of clouds at the top of my scene. Love how this turns out. And I'm also going to take a little bit of that uh, tumble glass ink and just do a little bit of inking behind my little bears and tree stump here just so that it looks like that blue sky is behind them as well uh, so that it doesn't just look like they've got one big cloud behind them. Um, I'm just going to protect my grass area with that same mask that I used before and just use some more of that tumble glass behind my images. And you can see I have my masks placed back over my bear and my tree stump. 
Uh, the great thing about the masks is once you have them, you can just keep reusing them. I will keep these masks with the stamp set so that if I want to mask them in the future, I already have those masks created. Now I am going to um, replace those masks on there again because I realized that I didn't go high enough with my grass. So I'm just going to mask that off again. Um, use that same mask I used before for the grassy area. Just lift it up a little bit and then I just go in with my greens and create create that higher level with my grass. Now I'm going to use the Happy Bee Day sentiment from the stamp set and there is a companion die for this as well so that's nice and I'm going to stamp this out with my Versa VersaFine Claire ink in black and this just creates a really nice uh, image nice and crisp and I'm going to just use that die there. I'm going to tape that down with my purple tape again, run that through my die cutting machine and that finishes that off. Now I'm taking those A2 frames and I or the die and I'm going to use the really pretty paper from that over the rainbow paper pad and I'm going to just make sure I have this secured down really really well. You want to make sure you do that because if it moves your um, cuts won't be in the right spot and I also used a shim with that just FYI. Now I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the largest or the second size of the frames. I do decide to go with the second size but just to show you there you could create a little frame all around the very outside edge but I liked how this one just was sort of like creates a little bit of a border. Now I'm just going to take all of my little die cut embellishment pieces and just kind of like roughly place them in where I think I might want them to go. What I do when I'm creating a card is I'll take a picture of that Take a photo of it. I do the same thing when I'm scrapbooking and just take a little photo of that so that you know where the placement was. I mean, this isn't rocket science. It's not like I have anything too complicated going on here, but I still did it. I still sort of like just wanted a little reference photo to see where I had placed things. And I just love this little bee and that little bird. I think they're so sweet. This is such a sweet stamp set. I am in love with it. And this is actually the first time I've used it really really love it it is part it is one of the new stamp sets one of the new releases for the uh, fifth anniversary release that was just last week and I had a blast working with it now I'm just going to take and do a bit of details here with my white gel pen going to add a few little dots here and there some highlights to a few spots on my little bears and some of this I don't really know if you can even see on camera because it's pretty subtle but I always find that these little details that you can add at the end of creating a card are sometimes what just finishes it off so nicely so I'm just going to like I said add those highlights with my white gel pen and then I'm going to take some Nouveau Glaze this is one of my very most favorite embellishing products I'm going to add that glaze to that entire balloon because it's going to make that balloon look like it's actually you know um, dimensional and I'm going to add the glaze to a few other areas the wings of my little bee I'm going to add that to the polka dots on the mushrooms I'm going to add it to hmm trying to think the noses of the bears and the center of the little daisy flower and just wherever so just wherever I felt like it I added some dimension with that glaze I also added some sparkle with some stardust stickles and you're going to see those stickles right away here. I definitely am a fan of everything that's sparkly. So I had to add a little bit of sparkle here. So I'm just showing you up close here how things are looking so far. And now I'm just showing you my stardust stickles. And I use those on the little ribbon on the present. And I use them on the hat of the bee and the hat of the bird and a few other little places here and there to add that sparkle and shine. Please make sure that you check out the links in the description box below to the Honey Bee Shop and you will find all of the uh, items that I used here today over there in the shop. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day. Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.